cockroach milk with your cereal? You may think cockroaches are the spawn of Satan, but new research has found that the little buggers can produce a whole lot of nutrients. Unlike most insect species, the Pacific beetle cockroach gives birth to live offspring, feeding them a yellow liquid substance from her brood sac. Instead of simply being digested, the liquid milk is deposited in the embryo's mid-guts and forms into tiny crystals. Analysis revealed that the crystalline milk is a complete food containing proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates, and with three times more energy than buffalo milk. It's apparently one of the most nutritious substances on the planet. But does that mean we should be guzzling the stuff? Um, not quite. Milking a roach is hard, but even without the ew factor, there's no telling if roach milk is safe for human consumption. Fortunately, science is on it. Scientists are now reverse bioengineering the milk and working on using yeast to produce the beetle roach crystals in larger quantities. It may take a while, but someday people might hoard roach milk instead of kale and avocado. Why would you eat that? China Food Safety – Girl Vomits After Eating Paraffin Wax Dumplings Chinese woman Miss Lu became suspicious after cooking some sticky rice dumplings that she bought in her local supermarket. She found a white substance floating on the surface after cooking them and concluded that it was probably paraffin wax. Her daughter then returned home from school, ate the tangyuan without her mother knowing, and then vomited. The supermarket said it was the fault of the manufacturer, while the manufacturer said the white material was palm oil. Food safety has been one of the hottest topics in China in recent years. Indonesian supermarket peddles python meat. Looking to add some variety to your home-cooked meals? Ever considered python? An Instagram photo of python meat being sold at a supermarket chain in Manadao, North Sulawesi province has gone viral. A local Indonesian animal welfare organization denounced the sale of such meat, accusing the supermarket chain of directly legalizing the exploitation of protected animals. However, the type of snake meat being sold in the photo isn't actually a protected or endangered animal. This particular python, or as locals call it, patola, is a species commonly found in bushes or rice fields. There are three types of snakes that are protected in Indonesia, but those are the green sangka, the sangka bodo, and the sangka timor. The sale of patola python is not uncommon in the region, and they have a more extreme market where exotic animal flesh can also be purchased. Dishes including the meat of dogs, rats, and snakes are often consumed, and the supermarket says the only reason they sell snake meat is because it's a local delicacy. Manadao residents request snake meat to purchase so they can cook it at home, and the head of the store stood by their decision, telling local media the sale is legal. One resident had no problem with a slithery dinner, telling one and all that snake meat tastes better than chicken. Huh, who knew? And of course, there's the old question, right? If these pythons aren't rare or protected, are eating them any worse than eating a chicken or a cow? Um, maybe not, but we're sticking with the chicken. You? A bit of python? Okay, then. Astronaut deuces could turn into space grub. That tastes like doo-doo. No, really. In the future, astronauts traveling to Mars will need to recycle and reuse as much as possible, including their feces. Researchers are developing a system that uses microbes and human waste to make food for astronauts on long-haul missions. The system introduces microbes into the waste, which then break it down through anaerobic digestion. The methane released during the process is then used to grow the microbe Methylococcus capsulatus, which is used in animal feed and is a good source of protein and fat. According to one of the scientists, it's a bit like Marmite or Vegemite, and grows a lot faster than potatoes and tomatoes. Yeah, but it's your own poo. And have you guys tasted Vegemite before? Chinese restaurants caught seasoning their food with opium. If you've ever found yourself desperately craving Chinese food soon after eating a bowl of noodles or hot pot, MSG might not necessarily have been the culprit. China's food and drug watchdog has found dozens of restaurants all across the country allegedly using opium to season their food. Now, whether small amounts of opium in their grub can indeed make addicts or even regulars out of customers remains to be proven. But given how frequent cases of opium seasoning have been in recent years, the restaurants, which include a popular Beijing hot pot chain, may have been attempting to test that very theory. Five of the 35 restaurants found to have been peppering their food with opium 
are currently being prosecuted. The others are still under investigation. Rotten durian causes college evacuation. Ugh, what's that smell? More than 500 students and professors were evacuated from a Melbourne college over a suspected gas leak. The putrid panic started when students and staff in a library building reported smelling gas. They were then evacuated by the local police force. After an extensive search of the building for the gas leak, firefighters discovered the stank was actually coming from a rotten durian left in a cupboard. According to the BBC, firefighters said a fantastic aroma spread through the building via the AC. For those unfamiliar with the tropical fruit, the smell can be a bit pungent, and it does smell a bit like gas, but farty gas, though. According to the Melbourne Metropolitan Fire Brigade, the building has been all cleared, although that rotten, dirty gym sock smell may linger for a bit longer. IKEA wants you to eat these to save the earth. Furniture giant IKEA has created a new version of their foods in an attempt to save the earth, except the food is all made from insects. To beat a looming global food crisis, IKEA's innovation research lab Space 10 in Copenhagen, Denmark, has been experimenting with various food alternatives. The meatballs have been redesigned as crispy bug balls. These edible balls are made from a variety of ingredients, including mealworms. The bug burger, made with beetroot, parsnip, potatoes, and a dollop of mealworms, are topped with blackcurrant and beetroot ketchup. And there's also the dogless hot dog, where meat is substituted with baby carrots topped with seaweed and a bright green bun made from algae. Although eating insects is still quite strange to many, IKEA's food lab said the dishes should not just be healthy or sustainable, but they must be delicious as well. And to inspire people to try new ingredients, they have to titillate the taste buds.